thankful to the one God for everyone that is present. God is most merciful and we thank him for being God alone. He have no equals, he have no rivals, he has absolutely no partners. We thank him for his divine mercy for sending to us the prophets and the apostles and gave them the correct message for us today. And by all means, we're glad to be back here in Washington again. We are thankful. We're glad for all of you that took the time out to come. Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to say to all of our sisters and brothers that may have pocketbooks or coats in your chairs, kind of move them so those in the overflow auditorium can fill what other, what other seats may be vacant. Amen. And as uh, when you move them, please, Raise your hands and let the ushers know what seats are vacant. And you brothers and sisters, you brothers that are ushering over there, please usher some of the people in from overflow. Let them come in. Uh, this whole front row of brothers, y'all can come in the full of it. This whole front row. Come on, brothers, let's work quick. I got a whole front row here of, I can get seven brothers. Uh, Brother Dave, look, I have the whole front row open. You can get brothers, let them fill the whole front row, and I got other empty chairs, and I can come on in the pulpit and make yourself comfortable so you can be at arm's length. Raise your hands up for vacant chairs over here. So let the people come get seated quickly, please. Raise your hands up. We got some seats that we can get seated. You brothers that are coming in, ushers, you can direct them quickly now. Come on. Some of you brothers, give them a hand back there so they don't be tripping over everything. I want every chair full. Any more men that's in there, Tell them, come on in. We got some more vacancies here. I want all men and women, especially men, they need what I'm preaching. Man is one of the most hard head, stubborn, hell-bound, wicked things that God ever made. If I can get the men to get themselves right, then they can help put their house in order. You brothers that know where the thermostat is, this air is blowing on my half bald head. Y'all <laughs> kind of get that taken care of. Come on, brothers. Any more men in there, please lead them. Lead them on in. Any more sisters? We got some vacancies. Show them where to go so we can get them in quick so I can go to work in the Bible. We got some more vacancies, so let's work quick, please. We got some more vacancies over here to my left for men. We got some more women in here too. We can fill them up. You see them with their hand up, let them come on in. If you're a transgender hiding, you come in. <laughs> now, brothers and sisters, we thank God for all of you. Uh, to my crew, please find where the thermostat is because tomorrow I want to have my voice. It's still winter time. I really don't need no cold air blowing on my head at all. You, you didn't arrange this, did you? No, I didn't arrange it, Pastor. All right. <laughs> Tell Brother Leon, head of security, to please find where this thermostat is right away. Oh, yes. I want to have my voice on tomorrow because you need a lot of talk here in Washington. This city is so devilish, wicked, and perverted with your Democratic and Republican heathens. 
But we're glad to be with you. I was here last year, and in two days' time, we baptized. We have some more place over here for brothers. Guide them in so I don't have to do your job. Guide them on in. We baptized, I believe, over 220-something souls in, in two days. Now we have been given an invitation from an apostolic church that have allowed us to use their facilities. There's my brother. Thank God for you. We have hundreds everywhere we go, and they turn into thousands quick. Keep ushering them in. We still got vacancies. Load them in. Load them in, brothers. Tell them, come on in. Come on in here. I want folks in close firing range. Amen. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't want nobody ducking and hiding. The gospel that God gave his apostles is the best thing on the market. It's causing much havoc and many arguments among many people. Them that are wealthy, not wealthy, politicians, them that are not politicians, religious people, them that are not religious, by all means, it's causing much disturbance among the entertainment industry. God's word don't have no respect to person. If you want to be right, God's word will get you right. But my interest is that we're Bible right. There's only two ways to serve God. Right and wrong. There is no middle. It's God's way or no way. Don't tell me what religious organization you're from. I absolutely don't care. It's God's way or no way. Your bishop gets no credit for his religion. For his church, for his belief, unless he's in full compliance, 100% with what God gave his apostles. You know Jesus Christ died, came on back, and the Bible speaks plain, then open he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. If the scriptures are properly understood, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be no reason for a variety right. of religions. Amen. Am I right, I said? If the scriptures are properly understood, right. nobody would profess to be anything else other than what God professed. Did you hear what I said? If the scriptures were properly understood and we respect the scriptures, nobody would profess nothing that God did not profess and nobody would believe anything that God don't believe and nobody will be loyal or dedicated to anything that God is not loyal to, that God is not dedicated to. Now, this is what I found out. The Bible contradicts everybody. Are you listening? Everybody in here, the Bible contradicts you some way. Somehow. And our flesh <laughs> contradicts the Bible. That's why it takes God to make a preacher so he will contradict man 
but never contradict God. Amen. That's why folks hate me so bad. They can't get me to contradict God, and they can't get me to agree with them. Amen. You see, I'm, I'm not being paid by the church to preach the gospel. No board of directors voted me in, and no board of directors can vote me out. God put me in, and only God can take me out. Amen. This is why we're unafraid. This is why we go to, just last week alone, I was in Jamaica, and now I'm here in Washington, and we got the next I be in Richmond. Then we'd be in Pittsburgh. Know me for long, I'd be in Malawi, West Africa. And then from there, Mozambique. And then Dubai. And, amen. Then India. Then Berlin. I'm not at all a local preacher just sitting on one corner for the last 70 years doing nothing. Yeah. I was called and sent to do what I'm doing. <laughs> If I wasn't called and sent to do this, I wouldn't be here in Washington on this wet and rainy evening unless I would be here going to one of your clubs. I believe one of you here can take me to a club somewhere. <laughs> but to be here declaring God's word so all of us can have a Bible chance to be saved. So we're working on opening up a temple here. We thank God for the brothers. I got hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of letters pouring in out of Washington and surrounding areas. Did you find the church yet? Did you find the church yet? Are we there yet? People want to be right. People have lost confidence in church. Uh, let me say this while I come to mind. Don't forget tonight after 12 midnight, turn your clocks forward. Turn your clocks forward. You're going to lose an hour's sleep. That way you can uh, wake up more earlier to come hear the word of God. <laughs> now let me dive into the Bible. I want to work on the condition of the church. Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He gave the commandments to the apostles whom he have chose. And the apostles stuck tight to what Jesus said. They didn't try to, they did. When the apostles was here, the word that they preached had the title Apostle Doctrine because the doctrine of the apostles is simply the lessons of Christ. Doctrine is rules, regulations, statutes that's established to govern a people. And everybody, if you're here, must be governed by the same rule. There is no different rule to govern God's church. No. Somebody asks, well, is the church allowed to be different someplace? One place. The Bible says there are difference in administration. That means this. Here there's one temple, they may start service at 10 o'clock. Another temple may start service at 11 o'clock. Another temple may start service at 9 a.m. Maybe difference in administration from that perspective. One temple, people come in, drop on their knees and pray for an hour. Another temple, people come in, drop on their knees and pray for 30 minutes. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Follow me. Now we're going to do some homework tonight. All right, hear me good. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we'll start reading in verse 4. Read quick. Now there are diversities of gifts, but there the same spirit. There are diversities of gifts. But the same spirit. You see this? Yes. Same spirit, same God, same Lord, one God. 
give diversity different many gifts. Gifts. Uh, and there are differences of administration. You hear this? There are differences in administration. But the same Lord. Now, you may have a different way of doing things. Right. But none of those ways can differ from the scriptures. That's right. Now, difference in administration also is the different areas of ministry. Right. 1 Corinthians 12, 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and we're at verse 28. Amen, yeah, God. And God. God have set. Some in the church. Some in the church. First apostles. Don't tell me he took them out. No. We are, we are battling it out tonight. That's yeah. right. The first officer in the church is the apostle. The apostles. No bishop, which is an elder, can preach unless he's been ordained by an apostle like Titus was Titus. ordained by Paul or the elder cannot preach unless the one ordained him got permission from the apostle like Titus got permission to ordain elders in every city That's by right. Paul. That's right. Amen. Hey, we ain't set up no, no different way here. No different. No trial sermon to you become a preacher. Not no. that. No. Not you a preacher because your daddy is a preacher. Who cares? <laughs> Not you a preacher because your nephew or your uncle. No, none of that. This is not a family church. That's right. This is a church that's set up by Jesus. That's right. When he declared upon this rock, I build my church, everybody. Everybody. That goes for the, any preachers here tonight. That's right. Everybody got to become or come the same way that they came That's in right. the scriptures. That's right. The Bible said if you come any other way, you are a thief and a robber. That's right. So there are differences in administration. God has said first in the church. Apostles. An apostle is an ambassador of Jesus Christ. That's right. Sent by authority to represent authority, and that authority is Christ. That's right. You know, like you have the ambassador from America. He's not sent over to China to bring his own policies. No. He sent to China to bring the policies of America. Thank God an apostles are sent to the world to bring the world God's policies. That's right. Not his own idea, not his own supposition, not his own theory, not his own religion, and not his own way. That's right. For the word of God said, there is a way that seemeth right unto man, and the end thereof are the ways of death. Yes. That's why there's so much confusion in the churches now, because everybody is leaning to their own way, and I'm laboring around the world and tell everybody, come back That's right. to God's way. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. I don't care how long you've been preaching, how long you've been going to church, who's your pastor, who's your elder, what position you hold in the church. Everybody have to come back to Bible. That's right. Everybody. You hear me making that plea to the world. Everybody, come back. Come back to Bible. That's it. If you don't want to do it like the Word of God say, do it. Close up your church, pad like your, pad lock your doors, and stay home. That's right. Go to hell from home. And God has said some in the God church. God has said some, not some, everybody. Some. Some. Some in the church. In the church. First apostles. In order to be an apostle, you have to be called, sent, made, appointed by God. Man don't ordain apostles. No. Anytime a man claim an apostle and God lay hand and a man, man. lay hands on you. And say he ordained you an apostle. You just a possum. <laughs> That's right. Do it to God. Hey, Amen. You're your possum. That's right. You're not an apostle. No. An apostle is God called, God sent, God made, God authorized, and God taught. God taught. He had divine skill to go into the Bible and take it apart. That's right. Amen. He's able to discern doubts and mysteries and make it plain. Right. Show you the fellowship of the mystery that was hid in Christ. That was hitting God who created all things by Jesus Christ. He's a builder. That's right. 
Amen. When God sent them, amen, sometimes folks ask me, you know, how is it when you go somewhere, 100, 200, 300 folks get baptized in one day? That's my calling. Amen. It's just simply my calling. That's it. And God didn't give me a, uh, a little <laughs> closed-out ministry where I go somewhere and got to beg people to get baptized. That's just my calling. Amen. God <laughs> sent me. Oh God, well, we can go anywhere in the world. That's right. Amen. I, I, God had given me a ministry from heaven that if I don't have, if we don't have members in a city, I can go by a church. <laughs> don't have member one. A whole service there, one time. That's right. And the church would be full that day. That day. That's a blessing. That's from God. That's right. And think of it. We're not running a racket to do it. No. We're not having those fake healing meetings to do it. No. We're not scamming people to do it. We're not hiring people to hypocrite to do it. We're holding on to strict, no-nonsense, hard, rock'em, sock'em, bare-knuckle Bible. That's right. That's all we're doing. That's right. And if you don't want the Bible, use a faker, a liar, and a hypocrite to say you're God's people. That's right. For God said, my sheep will hear my voice. That's it. Isn't it? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory right. to God. That's right. And a stranger. Glory to God. You won't follow. Now right. ask yourself this question. Is your bishop a stranger? That's it. Come on. Come on. Because God said, my sheep will hear my voice. Is your, is your pastor, is your bishop, is your elder a stranger? That's right. What make him a stranger? When it's teaching, detour, detour. thank God, Hallelujah. and deviate That's right. from God's everlasting word. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because when you deviate, you're, you're bringing in your own supposition, oh, right. your own way. Your own idea. That's right. All of God's people supposed to be one. One, amen. That's what God ordained. That's right. Now you have your own little group. You had your own little group. No. Oh, no. There's one church. That's right. Glory to God and everybody got to get in God's church one way. One way. And if you come any other way, you're not in God's church. Oh, no. Finish up the administration. And, God, and then I want to settle in the book of Revelation. Mm. I want to work on the condition of the churches. Mm. Chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. There were seven churches of Asia. That's what represent uh, when John the Apostle saw the Lord and there were seven golden oh, candlesticks right. before the Lord. And the seven golden candlesticks represent the seven churches of Asia. Right. And there were seven stars in God's right hand. The right hand means power and star mean angel and angel mean messenger Wonderful. so we'll let you know that the preacher is a messenger of God and he must have the power of God or the right hand of God or the anointing of God Go upon ahead. him That's right. in order to preach to the seven golden candlesticks. That's right. And if he don't have the anointing of God hallelujah. on him and in him he can't preach. That's right. Don't you hear Jesus say it? Hallelujah! The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Glory to God. Amen. Of the Lord God is upon, is upon me. Upon me because, because he has anointed me to preach. What? He has anointed me to preach the gospel. The Hallelujah. Gospel is not being preached That's unless it. you are anointed from heaven. That's right. Hallelujah. If you're not, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. If you're not anointed tonight, Lord, thank God you can't preach the gospel. That's right. You can recite scripture. That's right. You can quote scripture. That's right. But you can't preach, preach it without the anointing from heaven. The spirit of the Lord is upon Dead, me. And the spirit never anoints no man. Go ahead, man. That contradict that book. That's right. Any preacher come along oh, and say, I got a revelation. Mm -hmm. Revelations today is present understanding of past information. That's right. Do you get what I'm talking? That's right. Any revelation today, because there's nothing new under, nothing the, sun. New under the sun. It ain't no man could come and say, well, God made something known to me. He didn't make known unto the apostles. That's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. Any revelation today right. is simply God revealing to you, opening up your understanding to past knowledge 
of yesterday. That's right. In other words, he's updating you. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. He's just updating you. That's it. He's giving you present understanding of yesterday's information. And there is no... So you can be on the same accord with the apostles. That's right. All right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 9. That's what? And there is no new thing... There's no new thing... ...under the sun. No new thing. Nothing new. Nothing. So when these churches come along today mm -hmm. and say there are no more apostles now, that's mm -hmm. a new thing. That's a new thing. Oh, yeah, that's a new thing because the Bible says God has set some, some in, the church, in the church. First apostles. He set them in there first. First. And if you say there's, there's no more now, now you've got to give me a Bible where God took them out. That's right. Where God took them out. I got a Bible where he put them in. That's right. But I don't have no Bible where he took them out. No, no. And then Jesus spoke a mystery. Yes, he did. In the he book told his apostles, he said, Lo, That's right. glory to God. That's right. I'm with you. Always. Always. Even until the end of the world. Even until the end of the world. Now, look at here. Look, if there's look no more apostles now, and he said, I'm with you, even until the end of the world, the world, the world didn't end, but no. they did. That's right. So how is he still with them? That's right. How can he be with them? The world didn't end. That's right. But the ones that walk with them and talk with them, they're dead. That's right. And if there is no more, how can that scripture be true that I am with you? Always. All, how long? Always. How long? Always. But they're dead. I am with you always. How long? Always. Even unto the end of the Lord, world. Thank God that office is going to be here. <laughs> he said he here. never left himself without a witness. That's right. That office is going to be here always. Always. Lord, thank God until the world ends. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Listen at this in the book of Luke. St. Luke chapter 11 and verse 49. This is what God wisdom sound like. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. What is it? I will. I. Amen. You can get me out the picture. Oh, yes. Every, every preacher might as well get out the picture. God is talking. The boss is talking. That's right. I will. I will send them prophets. I will send them. Prophets. Prophets. And apostles. And apostles. And some of them they shall some slay. Some of them. They shall slay. They shall slay. And persecute. Oh, he said, I will send them. I will send them. See, the church is not over. The church is not dead. That's right. And all the officers are still in the church. That's right. The only time the church will cease is when God come and present them to himself a glorious church. That's right. Until then, everything still functions. That's right. All right, you Back better first go to Revelation. There's so much coming to my mind here. Give me the second chapter of Revelation. I want to show us the condition of the church. Now God got a complaint. Yes, he does. I want everybody to pay attention to God's complaint. That's right. Whatever church you're from, whatever church you go to, mm -hmm. whoever is your bishop, who is your pastor, you look at God's complaint and see does he have the same complaint at the church you go to. That's right. Hear me good now. Revelation chapter 2, we'll start reading at verse 1. Follow me. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write. Yes. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. Now I want you to notice God's titles. Mm -hmm. These things saith they. Saith he. We. He. Us. He. Them. He. Only one talking. That's right. Jesus said if you don't believe that I am he, you shall die in your sins. These things saith he. Jesus talking. Amen. God talking. Lord talking. Jehovah talking, I am that I am, which means I am what I want to be or how I want to be. That's He's right. talking. These things saith he. These things saith he. That holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. To hold the messengers of God in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. You always want God in the midst of the church. That's yeah. right. If God is not in the midst of your church, you don't have no church. No, you don't. I say, you don't have no church. If God is not in the midst of that church, yes. you don't have no church. No. The Bible said where the Lord is, there's liberty. That's right. Listen at this now. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. What is it? Who walketh in the midst of the seven who golden candlesticks. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works. What? I know thy works. Glory to God. Amen. I know 
what I you're know doing thy, here. I know thy works and, and thy labor and your labor and thy patience. I know your patience and how thou canst not you bear cannot them bear which them are evil. evil and thou hast tried them. Look at here. Amen. Thou hast tested, tested, tried. Them. Tested them. Which say they are apostles. Which claim they represent Jesus. They are apostles. And are not. Now somebody said, well, to be an apostle, you got to be there when Jesus rose. There ain't no Bible tell you no. that lie. The apostle Paul wasn't there. No, he wasn't. The apostle Paul wasn't there when Jesus was walking the earth. No. Thank God, but he was made an apostle. He hears he testimony how God revealed his son in him. That's right. That he may preach him among the Gentiles. He said immediately, I confer it not with flesh and blood. That's right. Uh -huh. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. Thou hast tried them Amen. which say they are apostles. And are not. And are not. And has found them liars. You got women preachers? You know apostles. No. You don't believe in speaking in tongues? You know apostles. No. Amen. Your wife is the first lady? You know apostles. <laughs> That's right. You endorse same-sex marriage? This, you know apostle. Oh no. You baptized in Jesus' name, you know apostle. That's right. Someone said, what? <laughs> That's right. Make it plain. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. The apostles baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Or Lord Jesus. That's right. It ain't one baptized simply in Jesus' name. No. Because there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. The many preachers, the only ones they saw was bar Jesus. Right. And just as Jesus. Right. They forgot about the Jesus in the Old Testament. That's right. Jacob and Esau. Esau in the Arabic language is pronounced Isa. Yes. Isa in English means Jesus. That's right. And then you got Joshua. In Hebrew, there are no J's in the uh, Hebrew alphabet. So Joshua will be pronounced Hashua. That's right. And Hashua in English is Jesus. That's right. But there's only one Jesus Christ. One Jesus Christ. Huh? That's right. Who is Lord of all. That's right. So the apostles in the scriptures baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus. So if anybody here that been baptized and just been baptized in Jesus' name, you got it wrong. That's right. Hear me good, I say you got it wrong. Oh, yes. Because I'm going to ask you where in the Bible where anybody was baptized simply in the name Jesus. In Jesus. Uh -huh. I want to make you drive so close to the curb <laughs> until they scrape your rims. That's right. Huh? And thou hast tried them. I test them out. Which say they are apostles. You know, many say, I believe in the apostles' doctrine. All right, we're going to test that stuff out today. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're going to test that stuff out good. That's right. All right, sir. And thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles. Thou hast and tested not. them. Amen. That said they are apostles and they're not. And has found them liars. Liars. And has born. And thou has born. And has patience. Patience. And for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Yes. Nevertheless. Listen at this. Amen. Nevertheless. I have somewhat against thee. This is God talking. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Seven churches of Asia. Seven locations of one people. That's right. See, God haven't came for his church yet. No. Because he declared he going to present to himself. For years, I used to hear the preacher say, God coming looking for a church. That's a lie. That's a lie. There ain't no Bible that says that. No. When you look for something, you lose it. That's right. He didn't lose his church. That's right. He didn't drop it off somewhere and say, where is it? I can't find it. That's right. He's going to come back for the same thing he left here. That's right. He said, upon this rock, I built my church and against the hell shall I prevail against it. Then he said, he's going to present to himself a glorious, glorious church, church, not having a spot, not having spot. a spot or wrinkle or any, or such, any thing. such thing, but that is should be what? Holy. Holy. Should Get be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get chapter and verse. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. All right, yeah. Washington, hear this. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. This is the kind of church you're coming for. That's right. What is it, sir? He might present it to himself. Present it. Present it. Present it. It's an offering. Go ahead, man. Amen. That's right. When you bring an offering, you present it. That's right. That's right. He gonna bring an offering to himself. To himself. Because he know the offering is ready. That's right. He didn't come for the church now because it's not ready. That's right. Some folks say God can come tonight. No, he can't. Oh no. Things in the Bible got to be fulfilled first. That's right. He ain't going to break the scriptures and come. No. His coming fulfilled the scriptures. That's it. Glory to God. Come on, son. That he might present it to himself. It 
to himself. A glorious church. What kind of church? A glorious church. You see, that shows you the change of the church. That's right. The glorious church. Right now, uh, the church is not glorified. No. Yeah. We got to put on the glorified body. That's right. Right now, we have the terrestrial. Right. We have to inherit the, ter the celestial. Right. Right now, we are mortal, and we have to inherit immortality. That's right. Amen. And then when that comes to pass, death is swallowed up in victory like it was when he was here. That's right. All right, son. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. What? Not having spot. What? Not having spot. Do you hear that? Do you Amen. have a spot in your church? Mm. Do your church believe in remarriage and divorce? You ain't ready to go back with Jesus no more than a giraffe can. And tap dance. That's right. <laughs> you got women preachers in your church. You're not in God's church. No. Who? None of you. That's right. Everybody that got women preachers, you're not in God's you're church. You're not in the church. He said, not a spot. Not having spot. Not having spot. Or when you got a spot, there's a false teaching that done spilt on you and done stained your lifestyle. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. And like a woman get dressed for wedding. Go ahead, brother. And then all of a sudden she spilled coffee and tea and that nasty yogurt <laughs> all on her clothes. She got to fight, fight, fight to clean that stuff out. That's right. When false teaching, false concepts come in your church and you believe it, your life been stained with the ungodly teaching that make your religious belief filthy. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Filthy. Filthy. Dirty. Corrupt. Right. Glory be to God. He says what? Not having spot. Not having spot. Amen. You believe in divorce and remarriage? You got a spot. That's spot. That's spot. That's right. You believe in women preachers? Spot. Spot. Big one. Big one. Oh, yes. Hmm? That's right. Pastor up there with two wives? Spot, spot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Come on, son. Tell Some woman in the church that married the pastor, his wife is still living, and she's nothing but a rebound. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's a spot, he's a spot. That's right. And Bishop is the biggest spot of them all. That's right. The spot church. <laughs> Amen. And I got the spot remover. Oh, yes. Oh, you can't have two wives in your church. I don't have none. No. I didn't die for no church. No. I represent the church that Jesus started. That's right. Some folk, some thousands right me. Oh, you can't do that in your church. You can't do that in my... Uh, listen, don't blame Pastor Jenner. No. Left up to me. I wouldn't care how many wives you had. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, you can have all the wives you want left up to me. That's right. It ain't up to me. No. I have to give you what Jesus said. What, what he said. You're bound by the law. That's right. As long as you as long two as you live. live. That's right. Hey Amen. If he's dead, if he's not dead, you're bound. You're bound. If he's dead, then you're free. That's it. You're at liberty to marry whosoever you will only. In the Lord. In the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not having spot. What? Not having spot. Oh, glory to God. Amen. No spot. No spots. No spot. Or wrinkle. When you're, there's a, listen, if there's a wrinkle in your garment, then there's something out of place. Right. It's out of place, so it needs pressing. That's right. Amen. So we come along with the heat of the scriptures to press your life right back in place. That's right. Amen. Mm. You men that are down on the down low, you, you women that got uh, married to somebody else's husband, and you men, or uh, you women that have got somebody else's husband, and you men that are married to about three wives, and you uh, fellows that have been ordained, and they're not ordained according to the Bible, and just right. doing anything you want to do, that's out of place. That's uh, wrinkle. Wrinkle. So the instrument of scripture have to, uh, you know, there's some irons that got a button, you press steam. <laughs> That's Whoosh. right. Whoosh. Huh? That's right. Thank God. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We, we got some steam here. Oh, yes. Amen. To put some Holy Ghost creases in your life. That's right. So you can be lined up with the Bible. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? Not having spot. Not having spot. Or wrinkle. Or wrinkle. Or any such thing. Or what shall we be? But that it should be holy. Baptist. Holy. holy. Methodist. Holy. Presbyterian. Holy. Lutheran, holy, Pentecostal, holy, apostolic, holy, not denomination, holy. Don't don't you dare tell me what you are. If you ain't holy, holy. I don't want to hear nothing that you have. That's right. Somebody said, I don't use these other titles that other religions have because God don't. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to profess 
a good profession That's right. before many witnesses. Before many witnesses. Give it the 19th chapter of Leviticus quick. Right. Let's see what God is. That's right. And then we'll come right back to Revelation. In, Levit in Leviticus chapter 19, and we're at verse 1. That's what? And the Lord spake unto Moses, Who's saying, talking? The Lord spake. No, Gino, Gino is talking. The Lord spake. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Gino, Gino is talking. The Lord spake. Get me out of it. That's right. Glory to God, I know you would like me to be in it to soften the blow. Soften it. But you got to get me out of it. That's right. Yes, sir. Well, Pastor Jennings, I've been Pentecostal for years, non-denominational, apostolic, Methodist, Lutheran. I don't want to hear none of that. That's Come right. back to Bible. The Lord speaks. Take what you have and compare it to the Bible. That's it. If you're going to brag your Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal, non-denominational, whatever, whatever is the heading of right. your religion, come, come back to Bible. Go to the Bible and see that God profess to be what you are. That's right. Now you can jump and shout down, speak in tongue if, you can, if you're not too tired. You're not too tired. <laughs> and if you can get one leg up and kick it around a little. Amen. But when your leg come back down, I'm going to tell you, come on back down to Bible. That's right. What does it say, Sad? And the Lord spake unto All Moses. All of you that are watching around the world, we're broadcasting live tonight. Amen. Here back in Washington, D.C., so I can pin your shoulders down with Bible here. That's right. All of you that are professing these man-made religions, non-denominational, five percenters, Muslim nation of Islam, and Sunni Muslim, and Shiite Muslim, and Mormons, and Jehovah Witnesses, and Pentecostal, and non-denominational, right. take that stuff to the Bible. That's right. Anytime you are what God is, you can't be no better than that. Amen. You that claim you're apostolic, see is God apostolic. That's right. And if you say he is, tell me where he said so. That's it. Now I can show you in the Bible what God said he is. And the Lord spake yeah, unto Moses. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Hear what I'm telling you? That's right. I can go to the Bible where God, God, the makers of heaven and earth, declared what he is. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Oh, we'll take off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Spake unto Moses. Saying, speak unto all the congregation speak of the children of Israel. All the congregation. Of the children of Israel. Of the children of Israel. And say unto them. And tell the children of Israel. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Pentecostal. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be apostolic. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Lutheran. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be non-denomination. Ye shall be holy. Now how in the world this stuff come along today? Today. You know, it offends people. Mm -hmm. They say, well, apostolic and holy is the same thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because if it was the same thing, why isn't God professing both of them? That's right. Huh? That's right. Like God professed he's Jehovah, mm -hmm. and God professed to be the rock. That's right. It's the same thing. Right. God professed to be I am that I am, uh -huh. and God professed to be Lord God Almighty. That's right. That's right. The same thing. God professed, I'm Alpha. Amen. Then God professed, I'm Omega. Right. And God professed, I'm the beginning. And God professed, I'm the ending. That's right. Say of the Lord. That's right. Now, if it don't matter what you are, what you are. why isn't God mm -hmm. all of this stuff that you have in Washington? Amen. And surrounding areas. That's right. Every bishop, every church organization got to come back way of the cross and way behind the cross, way <laughs> on the side of the cross and church of God in Christ and church of God on ice and the blue <laughs> church, the brown church and amen, the church upstairs, the church around the corner. Everybody got to pull up to the Bible. That's right. Get out of your car. That's right. And park right here. That's it. Hey! Ye shall be holy. What did the Lord say? Ye shall be holy. Come on back. Come on Amen. Back. You might as well get ready to come on back to Bible. That's right. If you're not going to come back to Bible, don't you go to another church tonight. That's right. Because you've proven to be an unbeliever. That's right. What the word of God says here. Ye shall be holy. Why? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Who? I, the Lord your God, am holy. Amen. That's plain. That's a good enough reason for me. Oh, yes. 
if it's not a good enough reason for you, then uh, I don't know what else I can do for you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's right. All right, go back to Revelation quick, son. Back in Revelation chapter 2, and now we're at verse 4. I read fast. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Now, God is talking to one of the seven churches in Asia. I have Ephesus. somewhat things against you. Because thou hast left thy first love. Now, God is our first love. That's right. And this is the problem of the people today. That's right. With God's help, I'm laboring and trying vigorously. Oh, yes. To bring, I know everybody's not going to come back. They're not because they're stubborn. That's right. And most church people are traditionalists. That's right. That's right. That's right. They're so used to doing things a particular way. A particular way. That's right. Like a good example. Most men are ordained in churches. They are catechized by a board of bishops. They take a preacher's exam, right. and then they have a trial sermon, then they get ordained. That's right. Never mind whether you got the Holy Ghost or not. Never mind whether you baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Never mind whether you got one wife or not. That's right. Ne never mind whether you believe in being holy. None of that is on the table. No. It's None men's it. tradition. That's right. That they have chosen above God's tradition. Why wilt not thy disciples according to the tradition? Did you hear this? In the book of St. Mark, chapter 7 and verse 5. Look at what they asked Jesus. Why wilt not thy Why disciples? walk not your followers according, according to, the tradition to the tradition of the elders. Of the elders. But eat bread with unwashing hands. You see, they brought Jesus their tradition. That's right. And then Jesus brought them Holy Ghost tradition. He answered and said unto Jesus them. Jesus answered and said to them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of well you. Well have Isaiah prophesied, prophesied of you hypocrites. Of you hypocrites. As it is written. As it is written. This people honoreth me with their lips. They talk about Jesus a much a mouth service. But their heart. But what? Their heart. Their heart is far from me. Tell us what good is it. Howbeit in vain. In vain. Do they worship me? In vain. In vain. Do they worship me? Te How they teach way? Teaching for doctrines. What? Teaching for doctrines. What they say? Teaching for doctrines. They teach for doctrines. The commandments of men. Hold it. Amen. Commandments of men. Commandments of men. And doctrine are two different things. That's right. Doctrine is written. Right. Commandments of men not written fluctuate, change right. over a period of time. That's right. Doctrine never change. Oh no. Never change. Oh no. So this is what's supposed to govern God's church. That's right. Is the doctrine of God. That's right. The doctrine of godliness. That's right. Supposed to govern God's church. That's right. From pulpit to the door. <laughs> the doctrine of godliness disciplines the church. Oh, yes. The doctrine of godliness teaches the church. That's right. The doctrine of godliness uh, opens up things for the church. That's right. If you don't have the doctrine of godliness like it is written in uh, 1, Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter, chapter six, 6, then you're not following what the word of God say. Go back to Revelation, son. Back in well, Revelation. time is getting away here. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 4. Follow me. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. What is it? Because thou hast left thy first love. You left your first love. Remember therefore. Uh-oh. Amen. Remember therefore. From whence thou art fallen. Where you fell. And repent. Get right. That's it. Repent. The churches today have fell away. Oh, yes. From the teaching of Jesus. Fell away now. Men trying to wish up God with plaques in their hair. And, hey, man. And women want to wear mini skirts and hot pants. And yeah. Finger rings, jewelry, necklaces everywhere. And, That's right. Two in the Godhead, three in the Godhead, four in the Godhead. That's right. We got over 50 churches in South India and over 100 in East India. In India, biggest religion is Hinduism. Yeah. And the second largest is uh, Islam. Yes. And in the country of India have over three million gods. My Lord, my Lord. Now listen, it's hard to obey with this one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's really difficult to obey this one. That's right. You're going to give me three million? Three million. Are you listening? Amen. Jesus, who is God, declared in Revelation. Remember, therefore. Remember, therefore. From whence thou art fallen. Look at where you fell from. And repent. Look how the things in church have changed, and you changed right with it. That's right. You let your churches change you for the worse. For the worse. 
not for the better. Amen. Some things you believe you know it's wrong. Oh, yes. Because you was taught better. That's right. But because you went along with the crowd, you didn't want to be left out. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Why you think the churches now are in the condition they're in? The bishops are sold out. That's they right. sold out on God. They don't want God's way no, no more. The celebrities are writing us. The preachers are writing us. One man said, you preach hell too much for uh -oh. me. I don't preach it enough. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. But thank God I can never preach it enough. No. The fear of God have left the world. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. When the world fear God again. Again. Like they did in the days of old. That's right. They come on back. Yes, they and would. And go by the plumb line. That's right. Thank you, God. When you got the plumb line, you're following the straight path. Oh, yes. What do you say here? Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Look at where you fell. And repent. Look at where your church is now. Amen. Look at the stuff they didn't used to have. Oh, yes. When you was younger. Oh, yes. Look how strict some of the churches was. Mm -hmm. Now, churches are dancing. Yes, sir. They got uh, disco lights in the churches. That's right. Preachers don't want easy and say the women in their wrong wearing pants. They just wear pants. They wear pants and shorts and all that stuff. The choir rehearsal. Uh -huh. Choir rehearsal. Had come to church half naked. That's right. Eyeline, shadow, fake eyelashes. Got paintbrush for eyelashes. Oh, yes. Got raccoon hair for wigs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? Remember, therefore. Remember, therefore. From which thou art fallen. You have fell from the established law that God gave Adam in the beginning. That's right. Before sin came in, Adam was upright. Oh, right. yes. When Adam, blessed God, ate of the fruit and disobeyed God, and his eyes came open, everything fell, and man been falling ever since. That's right. And the churches are not doing nothing oh, to no. pick man back up. No, no. The purpose of the church is to pick men and women up and put you on a straight path. That's right. Am I right, I said? Remember, therefore. Don't tell me what I want to hear. Go ahead. Tell me what I need to hear. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Remember, therefore. Remember, therefore. From which thou art fallen. Where you fell and, from. And repent. And repent. And do the first works. You see, God wants you to do your works over. Oh, yes. Repent. Repent. Amen. Stop to let the churches... Uh, get you caught up because they change their beliefs and want to do like everybody else for the sole purpose of getting members. That's right. That's why people are so shocked. Yeah. Everywhere we go, when they see hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of people and they see how strict we are, and they say, you mean to tell me all them thousands of people follow that strict That's man? Right. That's right. We didn't have to tweak no scripture. No, you didn't. We didn't have to duke nobody. That's right. We didn't have to steal no money. That's right. We didn't have to placate the people. <laughs> Amen. We didn't have to compromise the Bible. No. We stood flat-footed on the principles of God. That's right. And Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, That's right. I draw all men unto me. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. I cannot be bought. No. By nobody. Amen. Can't offer me nothing. That's wonderful. Brother. I've been offering millions of dollars. I had no problem with turning that down. That's right. Someone said, what? Yes, I turned that down. No problem. Oh, yes. Men have offered me churches. I told them, I don't want your church. God made me a builder. That's I right. had a bishop in Cambridge, Maryland. Offered me his four churches. Old bishop. I knew him before I was preaching. If I would just compromise, remarriage and divorce. He said, God spoke to me, Pastor Jennings. He said, I know you'll stand, but God spoke to me and uh, told me to marry, marry my secretary. I said, really? <laughs> Amen. I said, hey, 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 Bishop. Is your, is your wife still living? He said, yes, but she's still, she's still living, but she's incapacitated. I said, I said, oh, so the Lord spoke to you after she got ill. After she got ill. <laughs> You mean to tell me you offer me mortar, brick, and a few electric wires to sell out on the Bible? That's right. I wouldn't care if you offer me the world. I'm going to stick to what God said. That's right. Yeah. Give me the book of Numbers.
In the book of Numbers, chapter 22. Uh, the reason why I'm like this, God made the servant Balaam like Balaam. this. That's right. And he gave me the same spirit. In book, Isn't in the, that this in the book of Numbers, chapter 22? Numbers, chapter 22, will start at verse 16. All right, son. And they came to Balaam and said they to him. They came to Balaam and said to him. Thus saith Balak the son of Zippor. Thus saith Balak the son of Beor. Of Zippor. Of Zippor. Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me. Yes. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. Some of these men can't pass up honor. That's right. I give you a church if you just compromise. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, I got to take your church, man. Don't you preach against divorce. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't I won't disappoint it. you. That's right. That's right. My brother got his second wife. Now he go to church. He going to be watching. That's all right. I make sure your brother give me a good report. Give you 50,000 50, a year. Oh, yeah, you know, I ain't going to touch divorce now. That's right. I wouldn't care if Donald Dunk was sitting here. <laughs> I pound against remarriage and divorce. Yes, you would. If you wrote me a check that I know would bounce. <laughs> That's right. For a billion dollars. That's right. You preachers that are watching have sold Preacher out brother. on God. You have sold out That's right. years ago. That's right. Anytime you can be bought or offered money or offered anything. Anything. To compromise the Bible, use a pulpit. That's right. Only your can be bought. That's right. And use a pulpit, Cadillac driving, manicured, nailed, backward collar prostitute in the pulpit. That's right. Because God preacher won't Hallelujah. sell out for nothing. That's right. Go ahead, man. Goes for if I got any preachers here. Go ahead, brother. If any one of you sold out at all, Amen. you ain't nothing but a pulpit. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Would you hear what I'm saying, Washington? Preacher, man. If there's any preachers in the house tonight and you sold that on God to compromise that Bible, use a pulpit. Which did sell himself. I'm going to make it so plain you got to get it. That's right. Use a pulpit. That's right. Amen. Preach it, man. I don't care if your husband, he's a prostitute. He's a prostitute. You're married to a pulpit prostitute. That's right. That's right. Preach it. Preach it. A real man of God will stand on that Bible regardless of who it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Won't change. That's right. Go ahead. That's why many find now we're preaching offensive. Listen, when you're not getting paid and you wasn't voted, it, in, voted in and your wife, the bed don't dictate what you preach or what you don't preach, right. you can preach freely. That's right. No, man, I can preach freely. Oh, yes. Thank God the Bible said, let me freely speak up Freely you. speak. Hey, Amen. When you preach the word of God, it's like being in the ring, you know. That's right. Hey, Amen. You can, you can freely just go at it. You can freely just you can hit it from all angles. Huh? Go, go ahead. I hit you from all angles with the Bible. That's right. Yes, got to do it. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking For I will promote thee. That's the kind of preaching especially you men need. Preach it, brother. You men, many of you have lost your spine. Go ahead. And these old weak, watered down, no good church bums. That's right. Has stole your manhood. That's right. Now you go to church acting like a woman. Oh, yes. You want to wear a man bun like a woman. Like a woman. You want to wear tight pants like a woman. That's right. And then you're supposed to be some deacon or some elder and you not even fit. That's right. To be a man? That's right. These men need some Holy Ghost structure. Go ahead, brother. And nobody can give you structure like God can. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. We have been spoiled by religion for years. For years. Right. And that's why when we come along, that's why a lot of folk write us, were you ever in the military? <laughs> <laughs> were you ever in the Marine Corps? Were you ever a drill sergeant? No, no. but I am now. 
That's right. I mean, God's army. That's right. He said, "In due hardness." That's right. As a good soldier. As a good soldier. I mean, I believe in ground warfare. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. We shoot you from the ground and drop it from the air. Amen. Come on, son. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will honor. promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. I will me. do whatever you say. Come, therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. Real quick. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak, What? If Balak would give me his house. Balak wanted to give Balaam honor. Honor. Like people today like to give preachers honor, uh, if right. you would just compromise. That's right. And 99.9 .9 of these pulpit bums <laughs> will take the honor oh, yeah. over the Bible. That's true. That's true. Hear this. If Balak would give me his house. If Balak Amen. would give me his house. Full of silver and full gold. Of silver and gold. Oh, repeat to God. Amen. Of silver and gold. And gold. I cannot. I Cannot go beyond the go word beyond of my God. God's word to do less, to do less or more, or do more. That's right. Neither will I. That's right. Amen. Amen. Church ain't got to buy my cars. I buy my own car. That's right. Church ain't got to buy me no home. I buy my own home. That's right. That's why I can preach with such independence <laughs> That's right. and such freedom. Oh, yes. I'm just handcuffed to scriptures. That's it. And it, it hurts too, brother. Yeah. Say, man, sometimes I find myself looking at my arm and other things hurt. I was like, Lord, please. I would, no, no, no. Come on back. Come on back. God makes me come back. That's right. And I'm going to make you come back. <laughs> That's right. He hurts me with the book, so I want to share the love. Amen. And hurt you. <laughs> Go back to Revelation, sir. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 5. What did he say here? Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Remember where you fell. And repent. Repent. And do the first work. Do your first work. Or else. Or else. I will come unto thee quickly. God said, I'm going to come to you quick. And will remove thy I'm candlestick remove. out of its place. He's going to take you out the church. That's, That's right. A candlestick is no good without a flame. Amen. A church with no flame is a church with no power. That's right. A person with no flame is a church with no Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. For you shall receive the Holy Ghost with power. Power. Now, if God going to move you, your candlestick. Out of his place. That shows you you can lose the Holy Ghost. That's right. There is no once saved, always saved. That's no, no. not God's teaching. <laughs> not at all. That's right. Claim you once saved, always saved. Man, always. you've been duped. Oh, yes. If you wasn't always saved, then of course you had to seek the God for the Holy Ghost. That's right. And just like he filled you with the Holy Ghost, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Taketh away. You better give me uh, Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Chapter 15. And we'll start at verse 1. Yes. And the Spirit, and the of, Spirit God of God came upon him upon Azariah, Azariah, the son of, the Oden. Son of Oden. And he went out to meet Asa. When he went out to meet Asa. And said unto him, I want to show you how you can lose the Spirit. That's right. And said what? And said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa. Hear ye me, Asa. And all Judah and, and all Benjamin. And Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with Focus you. Focus on the language of the Bible. The Lord is with Focus you. Focus on the language of the Bible, you that are listening. The Lord is with the you. The Lord is with you. While. That is the term. He's with you on terms. While. And he's going to read the term. That's right. The Lord is with you. While. While. Ye be with him. You're with him. And. And if ye seek him, if ye seek him, he will be found of you. He'll let you find him. But oh, glory to God. That's right. But if ye forsake him, if you leave him, when he you will. Something, you, you leave it. You go right. away from it. If you leave the Lord, he will forsake you. If you leave him, he will forsake you. He's going to leave you. That's right. It ain't no one saved. No. Always saved. Oh, no. No, sir. Oh, no. Hey, man, you only save if That's you right. keep in remembrance. Paul said what is preached what to is you. preached to you. Unless you believe in vain. That's right. Go back to Revelation quick, sir. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 5. I don't even, I didn't even get halfway what I want, so come on. Remember therefore from which thou art fallen. Yes. And repent. And repent. And do the first do works. Do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly. I come to you quick. And will remove thy candlestick out of its place. And except thou repent. Now notice, your candlestick will be removed out of the place. That's right. Unless you repent. That's right. Repentance will keep you before God. 
Amen. That's why you should always repent. How often, Pastor Jennings? Why count? Just do it. Just do it. That's and right. And mean it from the heart. That's right. That's right. Everybody in here got something to repent for. Oh, yes. Don't you worry about what the other person got to repent for. Right. You got something to repent for. That's right. Amen. Come That's on, son. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of his place. Yes. Except thou repent. All right. But this thou hast. Yes. That thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Yes. Which I also hate. All right. He that hath an ear. He let, that hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit. Let him hear. Let him hear. What the Spirit. Saith unto the churches. Now God talks to the church through Scripture. Through Scriptures. Otherwise than that. <laughs> the right. church is not being talked to. No. So I'm saying, what about when you prophesy? It's going to come according to scriptures. To the scriptures. In a language that you can understand. That's right. If I talk German, you ain't going to prophesy to me in French. No. What, do, what good does it do for me? I don't want to stand French. That's right. God going to bring to me a language that I can understand. That's right. Uh -huh. He that hath an ear, let him hear what he the Spirit. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit what the says Holy unto Ghost the churches. To the church. And Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are, they are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. That's right. So you that claim you some Christian, and you're fighting what the Scripture says, mm -hmm. you're fighting what the Spirit says, That's right. then uh, ask yourself, is you of God? Amen. Well, I don't see it. Nobody care nothing how you see nothing. <laughs> That's right. People always try to bring me what they see. <laughs> I'm not interested in what you see or how you see it. How you see it. Well, that's mighty narrow of you, Pastor Jennings. Give me Isaiah. Isaiah. Quickly now. That's right. I believe chapter 55. 55. Amen. I have to My see thoughts. things the way God see it. That's right. When I see things the way God see it, I dismiss you. <laughs> that's right. Huh? That's right. I, I have to dismiss you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I, I do it all the time. <laughs> when you're in a church where women preachers and you can't find a woman preacher in the Bible. My you can bring me any scripture you want, That's and right. I can dive into it, explain it, interpret it, break it down, and connect it with other scripture where there is no contradiction, right. and you won't find no woman assistant pastor. That's right. No woman bishop. No. No woman evangelist. No. Some woman wrote me. No, no, she talked to me after service. I was preaching somewhere, and she said, uh, uh, what about the woman that ministered to Jesus? Then she preached. I said, when someone minister to you, uh, uh, are, they, are they helping you? Right. Are they opening up your understanding? I wanted her to think a while. She said, well, yeah. I said, what did Jesus need his understanding open up to? Right. <laughs> she said, I don't know. Maybe it was something. So I quoted the scripture. The Bible says Jesus of Nazareth knew, knew all things. things. She said, well, if, if she ministered to him, what did she do? I said, minister simply means to serve. To serve. She served him. Right. Hey, Amen. Like the woman that uh, washed the feet and whatnot. She's giving you service. Even as the Son of Man. Listen at this. Now in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 20 and verse 28. Even as the Son of Man. Came not. Came not. To be ministered unto. He didn't come to nobody to preach to him. But to minister. Uh, he come to preach to everybody. And to give his life. And to give his life. A ransom for, for many. So the woman that came to minister, she ain't preached to Jesus. No way. And if she didn't preach to Jesus, she's not going to preach to me. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> Go ahead. Hear me, God. Go ahead. Hear me, God. Hear me, God. That's right. All of you that go to churches where women can preach, you are go to hell. You'll go to hell for it. If there's any women preachers here tonight, you are victim, amen, of some false prophet laying hands on you That's right. and ordaining you. And if there's any women here studying, to be an undercover evangelist. Amen. There is no such office no. for a woman in the Bible. That's right. Not one. That's right. Amen. You, you can't dig up one. No, no. You can't. I, I went fishing when I was little. We was digging up worms, but you can't dig up no woman preacher right here. <laughs> That's right. All right. Now I say in chapter 55 and verse 8. Listen at this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. That's what got me like this. <laughs> That's it. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God said, my thoughts is not like yours. Neither are, Neither your, ways. are your ways. My ways, saith the, saith the Lord. What? 
For as the heavens as are the higher heavens than the earth, is higher than the earth. So are my ways, so are my ways higher, than your, higher ways, than your ways, and my thoughts, my thoughts, than your thoughts. All right, back to Revelation quick now. Back in Revelation chapter 2, and we're right at verse 6. All right. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, yes. which I also hate. Yes. He that hath an ear, let him hear what let the Spirit with the Holy Ghost unto the church. To, the church. to him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life, uh, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Yes. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna. Now right. let's get the next place. That's right. To the angel of, of the, the church, church in Smyrna. The messenger right. of the church. And Samaria, right? These things saith the first and the last. Now he's called the first and the last. Which was he's dead. He's the alpha and the omega. That's right. He's the beginning of all things, and he's going to be the ending of all things. That's right. All right. These things saith the first and the last. Yeah. Which was dead and is alive. Which was dead. That's Jesus. That's right. These things saith the first. And the last. And the last. These things saith the alpha and the Omega. That's right. That was dead. And is alive. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. Yeah. He I said, know. I'm alive forevermore. That's right. Uh -huh. I know thy works. There it is again. Amen. I want everybody to get this and tremble. <laughs> I know thy works. God know what you're doing. And tribulation. I know what you're going through. And poverty. And your poverty. There's two ways of poverty. That's right. Naturally poor, spiritually poor. That's right. Blessed be the poor in spirit, for they too shall inherit the kingdom of God. But thou art rich. What? But thou art rich. What is your riches? The scriptures. That's right. The Bible says we have this treasure in earthly, earthly vessels, vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of, and us. Not of us. And I Amen. know. So I'm giving you the greatest riches with God help that you can never have. That's right. Uh -huh. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are I Jews. I know the blasphemy of them that say they're Jews. And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Hold it. There's a natural Jew circumcised according to the flesh coming out of the line of Abraham. That's right. And there's a spiritual Jew. Spiritual Jew. Circumcised according to the heart and which are Abraham's children by faith. By faith. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. What did he say, son? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. They say they're Jews and they're not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Now, a synagogue is a dwelling place. Right. A temple. That's right. Bible says your body is the temple of the living the God. Living God. Are you a living piece of blasphemy mm. today? <laughs> are you a living piece of blasphemy tonight? My Lord. Are you a sinner, God, or Satan? Satan. Anything, hear me, that you say amen to, that God don't say amen to, you're speaking against what God stands for. That's right. You know, uh, one thing I know about the Bible, brother, it'll take father against mother. Yes, it will. It'll make you fight your preacher. That's right. It'll make you fight your elder. That's right. It'll make you fight your pastor. Oh, yes. When they so adamant and trying to bring something, and you tell them, look, the Bible don't say that. The Bible don't say that. And then Bishop get out and get mad and say, uh, you just disrespected me. No, I, if, if me respecting God <laughs> going to cause me to disrespect you, I'm going to respect God first. First. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm old. The Bible said the aged men are not always wise. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, man, you better come back to the Bible like Lord everybody man. else. That's right. Oh, brother, hell going to get all the kinks <laughs> out of your body. That's right. Huh? And I know the blasphemy. I know the blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews and are say not. say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue, synagogue of, Satan. of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yes. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Yes. That ye may be tried. Yes. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Uh -huh. Be thou faithful until death. And what? And I will give thee a crown of life. Uh -huh. He that hath an ear, let him hear what let the Spirit says unto the, the churches. He that overcometh he that overcome shall not be heard of the shall second death. Shall not be heard of the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pagamus right. Pagamus right what? These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. Wait a minute. These things saith he that hath the word. Which hath the sharp sword with see, two edges. you got to be able to see these things. That's a wonderful scene. Have the sharp sword. With two edges. It's the word of God is a two-edged sword. That's right. These things saith he. Which hath the sharp sword with two edges. These things saith the word. That's right. These things saith God. That's it. Notice. 
These things saith he. Saith he. That what, child? Which hath the sharp sword with How? I have what? The sharp sword. Wait a minute. Sharp. Not a dull sword. Oh, no. See, sharp, when you have a sharp. dull sword, your preaching don't condemn nothing. That's right. It makes everybody happy. <laughs> That's right. Make everybody pat you on the back and say, you know what? You are right. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God, when you got a sharp sword, sharp sword. it makes people. <laughs> make people get mad. <laughs> That's right. Get mad at you, get upset. Get amen. Amen. Fold their arms and primp their mouth and roll their eyes on their head. Thank God. But I don't care what direction your eyes go. Here come the sharp sword. The sharp sword. Eh? That's right. Glory to God, one scripture says, and he shall wet his sword. You know, when a sword is being sharpened, that stone also is uh, spinning with water hitting it. So the sword, the iron, the metal don't overheat. That's right. So the water is used while the stone sharpens the sword to keep the metal cool. Are you getting what I'm talking That's right. So uh, we come to bring you the sharpness, sharpness. of the sword That's right. and the power of the bow. Mm. For the Bible said, out of his hands in the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk. go forth the arrows. the arrows. And that's what God's word is. That's right. It comes out of his hands and smites you with it. That's right. And that same thing, that's the arrows, is the sword oh, yes. and the axe and the hammer. And the hammer. See, the Bible take on many titles of weaponry. That's right. It's called a hammer because you know you hard at it. So the word of God comes and have to break you. Uh, it's called an axe. axe. Because you know something you struggle with cutting it loose from, and the axe hit the roots. That's right. And that way, that thing that you're struggling with ceased to be nurtured. That's right. Huh? That's right. You cut the roots of a tree, it stopped the water from nurturing that tree. That's right. The word is called a sword. Sword. Because it pierced you. Oh, yes. Amen. And divides soul Dividing and spirit. Asunder. Did you get what I'm telling you? That's right. All right, son, come These on. These things saith he which hath the sharp sword yes. with two edges. Uh -huh. I know thy works. I know your works. And where thou dwellest. Look at here. God know where you're at. Even where Satan's seat is. Uh-oh. Mm. I know where the devil's sitting. That, that's right. Did you hear this? I know thy He's works. He's talking to the church. That's right. He tell the church, I know your works. And where thou dwellest. I know where you dwell. Even where Even Satan's seat is. Even where the devil's seat is. 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 Is the devil sitting here tonight? My Lord. Why well, sure he is. Why well, sure. Yes, sir. Well, Pastor Jennings, I don't see him. <laughs> you ain't got to look too far. That's right. You ain't got to look too far. That's right. Many times the devil where he sit at in you. Oh yes. Anytime you fight the scriptures, anytime you say that's not right. That's not right. Anytime you say I don't agree with that. Yeah. Anytime you say, well, I'm gonna hold on to my way. That's the devil. That's the devil. In you. That's right. Because only the devil fight God's word. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I said. That's right. Any preacher you see over social media, any preacher, church, any congregation that fight one thing, one thing. that God said. Oh, yes. That's the devil's seat in that place. That's right. Do you hear what God said? I know thy works. Glory be to God of Abraham. And where thou dwellest. I know your works. I know where you dwell. Even where Satan's seated. I know where the devil sit at. And he's in the pulpit. pulpit. He's on the choir. He's among musicians. That's he's right. on the congregation. He's in the entertainment industry. Oh, he's yes. in the White House. He's in the Democrats. That's right. He's in Republicans. He's among liberals. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, you're saying the devil is everywhere. Sure he is. Sure he is. I thought God is everywhere. God is everywhere in the universe. Right. Satan is everywhere in the world. That's right. Big difference. Big difference. That's right. That's what the Bible says uh, about Satan. He is called the God of this world. Of this world. Of this world. 
The world is his domain. Oh, yes. Only God higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. Than the earth. He said, if I cut you off and shut you up, who can stop? That's right. See, remember, God don't have the answer to nobody. But Satan got the answer to God. That's right. Are you listening? Don't you see when God was in the flesh and came to that man possessed by the devil? What's your name? Legion. Legion. For we are many. Jesus said, hush him out. That's right. Come out the man. Come out the man. The spirit didn't even come out right away. He started talking. That's right. Had a conversation with him. Well, well, look, I don't want you to send us out the country. <laughs> and we don't want to go out the country. That's right. Can we go into those swine into over the swine. there? Jesus said he, he gave them he leave. Gave them leave. So even the Satan is subject. And I remember when the apostles came back rejoicing to Jesus, they said, even the devils are subject unto, subject us, unto us through thy name. Through thy name. Jesus told him, don't you rejoice don't over rejoice. that. <laughs> Rather that you rejoice that your name is written. Written. So you can go to hell, even if the devil's subject to you. You use the name of Jesus, devil's subject unto you, and then you end up in hell with the devil. <laughs> That's right. Don't rejoice over that. That's right. Hear me good now. I know thy works. I know thine works. And where thou dwellest. And where you do well. Even where Satan's seat even is. Even where the devil's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name. And you hold fast my name. And hast not denied my faith. Yes. Even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, uh -huh. who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Yes. But I have a few things against thee. Look at the God's argument. That's right. See, when God have an argument, your argument don't mean nothing. No. But nobody can argue their case like God can. That's right. I have a few things against thee. Against thee. Because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Listen. Thou hast there bear there them them that hold the that doctrine of Balaam. The doctrine of Balaam. Who taught Balak to cast a stumbling who block? Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. Before Israel's. Before the children of Israel. To eat things, sacrifice unto idols, and to commit fornication. Yes. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. That what? Which thing I hate. <laughs> hate. The doctrine of men God hates. That's right. Hear me good. Hear me good. That's right. All men doctrine. Oh. And this is what we came up on for years that we thought was Bible. Oh, yes. There are seven dispensations. They said the first dispensation is called innocence. They say innocence close, and then conscious step in, and when Noah built the ark, conscious uh, close. The, the Bible don't say none of this. None of that. Because conscious, everybody's still conscious right now. That's right. You still got a conscious. That's right. That's what the Bible talks about, folk conscious being seared with the hot iron. In the days of Nimrod, the preachers have said that's called human government. It ain't no Bible say that. No. The Bible just said he suffered all nations to walk after their own way. way. The Bible never called that time of uh, human government. Yeah. Never called it that. No. No, no. Only place in the Bible where it talks about dispensation where dispensation is attached to right. is grace. If you have heard of the dispensation. This is the third chapter of the uh, book of Ephesians. And I verse Paul, two. the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if you heard. Of the dispensation, of the dispensation of the of the grace of God, which is given to me, me to you. you. And how that by revelation. He made he known, known to, me the to me the mystery. As I wrote before a few words, Whereby, that when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Which, which in other ages. Other ages that was not made known to the sons of men. As it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets. By the Spirit. By the Holy Ghost. That's it. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. All right, son. Back in Revelation chapter 2 so and at verse 15. The Bible never said there are seven dispensations. No. Traditions of men. That's right. The Bible never said there's five minor prophets, five major. No. Tradition of men. The Bible never said Peter was crucified head down and feet up. No. No such crucifixion is written. No. The Bible never said that Paul died at Nero's chopping block. Bible don't say how he died. That's right. Bible don't say that John the Apostle died 96 A.D. in a pot of boiling oil. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bible ain't never said none of that none stuff. Of that, none of that. What tradition, tradition. of men? men? Bible never said that Adam ate an apple. No. 
That teaching is so old, folks don't want to eat no apple. <laughs> That's right. We don't know what the fruit was. No. Yeah, my God. That's right. Come on, son. Back in Revelation 2 and verse 15. You see how they added to the Bible yeah. for years? Added. All right. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolosians. Real quick. Which thing I hate. Yeah. Repent. Repent. Or else I will come unto thee quickly. Or else I'm going to get you. And will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Yeah, look at here. Amen. Imagine God fighting against you mm. with the sword of his mouth, of his meaning mouth. with the power of his word. He that hath an ear, he that hath an ear let him hear let what him the Spirit hear. saith unto what the, the church. the Spirit saith to the church. To him that overcometh, to him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the hidden manna. Let's get one more church. And will give him a white stone. One more church. And we're now in Revelation 2 and verse 18. That's what? And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, right? Yes. These things say I the definitely Spirit. want to give the church where he rebuked Jezebel. Yes. That's, because, that's, uh, that's this will church. show you how God feel about women up teaching. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, God. Revelation Someone 2 and says, verse 18. Man, you must hate women. No, I don't. I married a beautiful woman. I got three beautiful daughters. That's right. I got a beautiful mother. That's right. I was right. blessed with three beautiful sisters. Yeah. We got a congregation of thousands of women. I don't hate women. <laughs> no. I hate lies. That's it. That's what I hate. And if there's any of you here following a woman preaching, you're following a liar. Oh, yes. If you say amen to her, you're saying amen to a lie. To a lie. Oh, what about Joel 228? God said he's going to fight. Let's get that. Let's get that. <laughs> I know that's in some folks' mind. Give me Joel 228 mm -hmm. and then give me the second chapter of, I, of Acts. Acts. I'm going to show you where this was fulfilled. That's right. It ain't have nothing to do with your mama up yelling. <laughs> like the witness to your wife and some of you claiming you're the head of your house and when you go to church you to tell you old spineless church going bible tone hypocrite <laughs> that's right all you men here that's following women preachers you ain't got no spine including your daddy that's right yeah man <laughs> that's right yeah man good joel chapter 2 and verse 28 yeah man good and it shall come to pass. Give this scripture to your mama. That's right. And give it to your wife before you sleep with her tonight. Mm. Your oh. wife is no more your daughter, your wife, your mama, your preacher, grandma. Brother. I'm no more a woman preacher than I'm happy to clown. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Do you hear what I'm talking? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to strike this out with Bible. With the Bible. This is the scripture that's known in every organization that has women preachers. They use this scripture. That's right. Joel chapter and 2. And I'm going to show you where this scripture was actually fulfilled. That's right. Hear me good. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. If you be dumb about this after tonight, you are that's a volunteer right. fool. Amen. A volunteer fool. That's right. All right. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. Yeah, me good. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yes. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. No, your sons and daughters shall preach. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Nah. All Amen. of them going to be preachers. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Prophesy just foretelling an event that's going to come. Yep. It's given to a man that's not a preacher to be a prophet, and it's given to a woman who's, who never will preach to be a prophetess. That's right. Like Deborah, she was a prophetess. Like Anna, she was a prophetess. That's right. I believe, well, according to the word of God, that God can anoint a woman and prophesy, foretell the event that's going to come. Wonderful. That's given to a woman as well as a man, but it's not given to a woman to preach the gospel. That's it. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Old men will dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Young men see visions. And also upon the servants, and, servants and upon the handmaids handmaid in those days. In those days. Will I pour out I my will spirit. pull out my spirit. That's now, right. that was prophecy. Yes. Let's see when the prophecy was fulfilled. All of you that are watching, get this. That's you right. know, this gospel is cutting through. I'm, I got I got a whole lot of license being mailed to me from women preachers. Amen. A few weeks ago, I had some a couple came from the island of Samoa. Samoa's in the South Pacific near Japan. Yeah. Husband and wife, both of them gave me their license. Amen. 
Wonderful. He, she, he thought he was a preacher, and she thought she was a preacher. Amen. And they used to lo- belong to the UPC, United Pentecostal, who was no more following the Bible than a duck can gamble with a dog. <laughs> That's right. And they both hit the lottery and start their own hotel. <laughs> That's right. Come on back to Bible. Come back to Bible. Do you hear it? Now in Acts chapter 2, we'll start reading in verse Let's 14. Let's get when Joel was fulfilled. But Peter, standing up with the 11, lifted up this his voice. This is after the day of Pentecost. That's right. When the Holy Ghost fell. That's right. And they received the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues. That's right. As the Spirit of God gave utterance, yes. they were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's well, right. well. People around thought they was drunk. That's right. When they saw them speaking in tongues, they thought those folks was drunk. These men are full of new wine. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 2 and verse 13. These men are full of new wine. But Peter, but Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice. God stood up with the other apostles. And said unto them, ye men of Judea, ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, all that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you. Be this. Be this. This. I want you to know this. Be this known, known unto, you, unto you. And hearken to my word. Hear what I got to tell you. For these are not drunken as ye suppose. These fell, these folks are not drunk like you think. Seeing it is but the third hour it's of the day. It's too early. But this is that. This is that. Is that which was spoken that by was the spoken prophet Joel. By the prophet Joel, and he gonna repeat what Joel said. And it shall come to pass in the last days. It saith shall God. come to pass in the last days, saith God. I will pour out I my will spirit. Pour out. My spirit. I'm gonna give them the Holy Ghost upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. And your sons your and your sons daughters shall and prophesy. Daughters will prophesy. And your young men shall see your visions. Your young men go have visions. And your old men your shall old dream old dreams. Men. Glory to God shall have dreams. And on my servants. And on my servants. And on my handmaids. And on my handmaids. I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. They shall what? And they shall prophesy. You tell all the woman preachers in your church, including your wife, your mama, your daughter, and your sister, and your aunt, sit down. That's right. Sit down. Sit down, I said. Sit down. The Bible speak plain. That's right. This is, is that, that which was, that was spoken. spoken of by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass. And if the, the Bible says, says God. this is that, that's what we say. That's right. This yeah. is yeah. that. This is that. That's it. Every woman preacher that try to quote this to justify her, she's misusing the word of God and she's blaspheming that's the right. book. That's right. And she's a sinner. That's right. Every time she stand up to call herself preaching, she's sinning. She's sinning. And when she becomes repetitious in it, she's a sinner. Sinner. Your sister is a sinner. That's right. Your daughter is a sinner. That's right. Your mama, your wife, your grandma, mm. your Aunt Mabel. <laughs> That's right. Is a sinner. That's right. The pastor's wife. Go ahead, brother. Is a sinner. That's it. Your first lady in your church is a sinner. Oh, yes. Your wife. If you claim your wife is a woman preacher, you're sleeping with a sinner. Oh, yes. And you go home now and play your sinner love music mm. and, make, <laughs> and make, make love to your sinner. That's right. I take your head off with Bible. Oh, yes. And hang it up so the world can see it. That's right. Go back to Revelation, son. Back in Revelation, you see, chapter I got 2. The plan. That's, that's why folks hit me. I'm, 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 I'm sticking to what's written. That's it. Oh, you just, need, you just don't want to understand. I understand what's written here. That's right. Don't tell That's me what right. Bible college you've been to. I recognize nobody Bible college. Oh, no. It isn't a Bible college on the earth that got my recognition. That's right. But the Bible. That's it. Bible says all scriptures are given by, by the inspiration, inspiration of, of, of God, God. Of God. Not by the inspiration of college. That's right. I don't care what college you've been to. Amen. School don't make preachers. No. God makes preachers. That's right. Amen. That's right. I care about what degree you got. I don't have no degree. No. My degree is very low. Very low. Bible said, let the brother of a low degree oh, rejoice, rejoice that he's exalted. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Lord, take God. What did he say, sir? Revelation 2 and verse 18. All right, this will be the last church we'll pick up. There's other churches, but we'll stop at this one. And unto God the, will. God will. Listen at this. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira. I want every undercover woman preacher here. Every man, every man here, 
that's sitting on the woman preaching. Preach it, man. I'm going to show you how God feel about women getting up teaching, teaching in your church. That's right. He's addressing the church. That's right. Listen to this. And unto the angel of the church. Give chapter and verse. Give Re chapter and verse again. Still in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 18. What is that? And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira. You that are watching, listen now. That's right. You that are in Africa and Europe. Preaching. In Canada, throughout all of America and the South Pacific. That's right. Listen at this. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 18. Parliament. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write. What? These things saith the Son of God. Saith the Son of God. Who, These things saith Jesus. Jesus. What? Who hath his eyes like unto a flame of He's fire. He's called the Messiah. That's right. Because he fulfilled the prophecies. Yes. He's called the Son of God. Because he's the servant of the Most High. That's right. He is called the son of David because it came out the house of David. That's right. He's called the Lamb of God, oh God because he offered up that body once for all through the eternal spirit. That's right. Huh? These things saith the Son of God. These things saith the Son of God. Who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire. Who hath his eyes like a flame of fire. And all his it. feet are like all fine bread. All that. That's right. All that. That's right. Don't just get reading. I got to take it apart. Yes. That don't mean his eyes is brown or black or blue. His eyes are as. As a flame of fire. Fire has a twofold meaning. When you have a fire burning in your fireplace, you can get comforted by it. Comfortable. It's comfortable. Though when that fire started going up the wall, <laughs> burning down the ceiling, now that fire, that fire got a different mission That's right. to consume. consume. He's a comforter. And a consumer. And a consumer. John, glory to God, the Baptist said, one come after me. That's mightier than I. Who going to baptize you with, the Holy, with the Holy Ghost. And with fire. And that with fire. With fire. And that fire, which is the Holy Ghost, is a comforter. That's right. For the Holy Ghost is the comforter that comes in his name. Right. That he come when we receive the Holy Ghost, the same God that comforted us, he come to consume everything in us and of us that's not like him. That's right. So he's a comforter. And he's a consumer. That's right. Come on, son. These things saith the Son of God. Yes. Who hath his eyes like unto a flame his of fire. Eyes like unto a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. Are like fine bread. Hold it. He didn't say it was fine bread. Like fine bread. It was like it. That's right. Brass means he's a, a deliverer. deliverer. You better give me the Old Testament. Yes. When Israel rebelled against God, I believe in the book of Numbers. Numbers. Thank God. And uh, the fiery serpents were sent out by the Lord to fight the Israelites. You better give this. Numbers chapter quick, 21. Follow me in your Bible. Eight. I got the itemized. You see, the Bible talks in hieroglyphic form. That's right. Symbolic form. And if you don't understand what these symbols represent, you are taking literally. You'll think God's eyes really look like fire, and you'll think his feet really look like polished brass. That's but right. But I notice it says as. As. Not that it is. Yo. It's as. As fine brass. And I got to show you what, what brass represent, like what fire represent. That's right. And then Numbers. it gives you a better understanding of the characteristics of God. Yes. All right. Numbers chapter 21, we'll start at verse 6. What is it? And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. The Lord sent fiery serpents among the and people. And they bit the people. They I, bit the people. And much people of Israel died. Yes. Now down in Numbers 21 and verse 8. What is it? And the Lord said unto Moses. The Lord told Moses. Make thee a fiery make thee serpent. Make a fiery serpent. And set it up upon set a pole. Set it on a pole. And it shall come to pass it that come everyone to pass that is bitten. That whoever is bitten, bitten. When he looketh upon it shall live. When he looketh at the serpent. Shall live. He shall live. And Moses made a serpent Moses of brass. Moses made a serpent out of brass. And put it up upon a pole. And put it up on the pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten if any man. If a serpent bit anybody. When he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Now look at what Jesus did when he came here. Now he, said, he said, as Moses. And as Moses lifted up give the serpent. Give chapter and verse for this. St. John chapter 3 and we're at as verse 14. As Moses lifted up the serpent. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. Even so must even the, son so of man the son of man be lifted, be lifted up. That whosoever. Whoever believeth Whoever believe in, him in him should not perish, shall not perish, but have eternal life. So, brass meant he's a deliverer. Right. Amen. That's why he come to deliver us, because we all was bitten by the serpent. That's right. Serpent is, serpent is Satan. That's right. Now, in the natural, if you get bitten by a serpent or snake, and there's venom in you, poisonous, you know what the doctor do? He get venom. That's right. To fight the venom. That's right. We all was bitten by the spirit of the devil through by conception, by conception. in conception, yeah. born in the world in lust, shaped in iniquity. iniquity. So it takes spirit 
<laughs> the fight spirit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Here's the spirit of the devil get a hold of you. Yeah. And now your spirit, the spirit of God come to get a hold of him. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Amen. The spirit of the devil get a hold of you, uh-huh. and the spirit of God drive him out of you. That's right. Uh-huh. Take spirit to fight spirit. That's right. Now, what your church do to cast out devil or to get healing, nobody in the Bible done. You know what they do? The preacher stand over you and yell, the blood of Jesus. Nobody in the Bible stood over nobody That's right. and yelled the blood of Jesus. In St. Matthew chapter 8 and verse I 16. I said nobody. Nobody. It became a church tradition. Right. The blood of Jesus. Now, blood was not shed to cast out spirits. That's right. Blood was shed to wash away sin. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1. That's what the blood was shed for. That's right. And the Bible tells us this. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. Ephesians 1, 7 says. In whom we have redemption. What? In whom we have redemption. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. Through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. And the forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace. Nobody took blood and applied it to the devil. No, they didn't. They took the name of Jesus. That's right. And applied that to the devil. In St. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 16. Says what? When the evening was come. Tourist head God. Amen. When the evening was come. They brought unto him many that were possessed they with devils. They brought unto him many. That were possessed that with That were devils. possessed with the devil. And he cast out the spirits. And he cast out the spirits. With his word. With his blood. With his word. With his blood. With his word. With his blood. With his word. Now, I believe in casting out the devils by referring to the word, and that word name is Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't come to no spirit. Blood of Jesus. No. I said the blood of Jesus. Oh, no. I say, in the name That's right. of Jesus Christ, That's come right. out. Come out of it. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ, cast out devil. That's right. That brought about sin. Mm-hmm. And the blood of Jesus Christ, wash away my sin. Washes away the sin. You sins. better give me revela- uh, Acts quickly now. Acts chapter 16. Why tarry us now? That's right. Why tarriest thou? Arise. Arise. And be baptized. Washing away thine sins. And wash away thy you sins. You better get a chapter and verse of this. Acts 22 and verse 16. Follow me in your Bible. Acts 22 and verse 16. Says what? And now why tarriest thou? What? Why tarriest thou? All right, I'll let you that are here and watch it. Then. What you waiting for? Arise. You might as well get ready to get up tonight. Get tonight. up tonight. That's if right. If you're a preacher, you better get up that, tonight. That's right. Arise. And be baptized. Be baptized. And wash away thy sins. No baptism, no wash away nothing. A- and be baptized and wash away thy sins. No baptism is out with sign and in with grace. And be baptized and wash away thy sins. You ain't, who are we going to call on? Calling on the name of the Lord. You better give me the Lord's name. Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. Who art thou, Lord? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. You're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a sinner tonight. Tonight. If you bow your head and raise your hand, amen, you're not saved and you've never been saved. If you join some church, you're not saved and never been saved. You pray the sinner's prayer. You're not saved. None of that stuff saved nobody. That's right. Why terrorist thou? Your dry, clean salvation. Amen. Finish up Revelation quickly. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and at verse 18. All right. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, right. these things saith the Son of God, yes. who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and, and his feet are like fine brass. Yes. I know thy works. I know what you're doing. And charity. I know your love. And service and faith. And your service and belief. And thy patience and thy works. And your patience and work. And the last to be more than the first. Yes. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, notwithstanding, I want everybody to hear this. You that are listening in, give chapter and verse. Revelation. Hear this. Hear this. That's right. Nevertheless, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 20. Nevertheless, notwithstanding, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Now, God is saying he has something against you. Against thee. If there's something God got against us, something's wrong. <laughs> That's right. God is not against right. No. God is against wrong. That's right. Sin, error, that which is out of place. That's right. 
Let's see what it is. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 20. Yes. Not, notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. I have a few things against thee. I have a few things. Glory to God. Against thee. Because thou sufferest that woman because Jezebel. Because you suffered that woman Jezebel. Which calleth herself a which prophetess. Which calls herself the pro uh, a prophetess. To teach. To teach. I have a few things against thee. He had, how, how do God feel about it? I have a few things against thee. And what was his complaint? Thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach. How do God feel about it? I have a few things against thee. What was she doing? Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach. How do God feel about it? I have a few things against thee. What are people mothers doing? Teach to teach. How do God feel about it? I have a few things against thee. What about if your daughter doing the same thing Jezebel doing? I have a few things against thee. What about if your mama doing the same thing that Jezebel was doing? I have a few things against what thee. What about if the pastor's wife is doing the same thing now I, that Jezebel was doing? I have a few things against thee. What about thee. the mother of the church? Is she doing the same thing that Jezebel was doing? I have a few things against what thee. What was she doing? To teach. What was she doing? To teach. What was she doing? To teach. How do God feel? I have a few things against that. That's how I feel. Oh. Amen. Come on, Amen. That's how I feel. That's right. If you don't feel the same way, that's right. You are a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. You're not of God. That's right. If you're a preacher, you are faker. Oh yes. You don't represent God. That's right. How can your feelings about women preachers be different from his? That's right. I have a you few said things I have against a few thee. Things against you. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth the Order herself a prophetess. In the church. That's right. Come on back. Come on back. Church of God in Christ, Church That's of right. God in prophecy, Bible way worldwide, so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ, House of Prayer, That's Assemblies right. of God, PAW, oh, UPC, yes. FX, right. HR, <laughs> U UPS, everybody. Everybody. In the world, your feelings differ from God, and you claim you saved? Right. You got the Holy Ghost. You got God in you. And yet you don't feel the same way he feel? That's right. You are a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. Now speak in all the tongues you want. That's right. He can Messiah up Mahaya. Amen. Speak in all the tongues you want. That's right. Come on, son. Nevertheless, I have a few things against thee. God say, I have a few things against you. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth Lord, herself a prophetess, God. To teach, to teach and to seduce my servants to, seduce my servant. to commit fornication. Yes. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Yes. And I gave her space to repent. I gave her a chance to repent. To repent of her fornication. But what? And she repented not. I gave her space to repent. All of you women that's up preaching, you better repent. Repent. Because you're spreading unlawful seed. That's right. That's hmm? right. That's right. You're spilling on un you're unlawful. 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 Oh, yes. You ain't got no right to be up there. That's right. Amen. Take it back to your pastor. Hmm. Amen. Tell him I'm, I'm here in D.C. Tell him come on here. Right. And bring Bible with him. If he can show me in the Bible where it says one woman preach, one woman. I'll ordain every woman in first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. My arms will be so tired. Oh, yes, they would. Because we have thousands around the world, and I will ordain all of them. That's right. What about Priscilla and Aquila? They expound unto Apollos the more perfect, the more perfect way. way. The Bible never says she preached to nobody. No. Expound just simply means to explain. That's it. You can explain the thing without preaching. That's right. That's why you go to school. The teacher's explaining all the time. Right. She ain't preaching to nobody. No. Expound that. <laughs> That's right. I have a few things against Finish it thee. up. Finish it up. Back in Revelation 2 and verse 20. Yeah. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against All thee. All right. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth itself a prophetess, yeah. to teach mm -hmm. and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Yes. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. All right. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. She wouldn't do it. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. Yes. And then that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Yes. Except... 
Except they repent everything hang on repentance of their deeds. Except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. Wait. I all will the, kill yeah, her yeah, children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All of you women preachers, you are children of Jezebel. That's right. All of you that wear your makeup and your jewelry and half naked and wear your skin tight pants and showing your body parts all in public. Preach it. You're looking just like Jezebel. That's right. And what did God say about it? And I will kill her children with death. I don't care if you're the wife of the preacher. That's right. With your lipstick on, big earring, leaves stick on nails and all that stuff. Amen. Nail designing, it don't make you look no better. No. Toenails all painted up for what? Amen. That's all in vain. In vain. It don't make you look better. No. And you men now want to be so feminine, arching your eyebrows and manicuring your old nails. That's right. Why don't you just clean them dirty looking things? <laughs> That's right. Get your manhood together. Amen. You ain't got no business with no man bun wearing your wife barrettes and That's your right. wife bobby pins. That's right. What's the matter with you? Am I right, I say? Amen. Amen. I will kill her children with death. God say he's going to kill your children. With death. I will kill her children with death. God say I'm going to kill her children with death. And all the churches shall all know. All the churches shall know. That I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. I am he that know all about you. And I will give unto every one of you. What? According to your works. Look at what you're doing. That's right. Look at what you're doing. Amen. Is it fit for heaven? Mm. Or is it fit for hell? That's it. Acts 38, let's, let's bring it home now. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Washington hypocrites. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. God gave us all something good tonight. Oh, oh yes. Amen. 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 All something good. That's right. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and whatever church you're in, whatever church, you have not been baptized right. That's right. Not enough yet. If you joined the church and thought you became a Christian or saved, that didn't help you. That's right. Preacher baptized you and said, I baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and bring you out of the water. He baptized you wrong. Wrong. You've been to a Catholic church and you threw water on your head, you should throw it back at him. That's right. You not baptized. No. You held some preacher's hand and repeated a sinner's prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Wash me, cleanse me, white as snow. White as snow. You no more white as snow than a dirty tire. That's right. Still a sinner. Still a sinner. This is what you got to obey, not just you, the world. The world. The world got this to do. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. I want to put you on the right path, the That's straight right. path. That's right. How to be born again right and get yourself right. Don't just get baptized and then go out in the street and live like the devil. Right. Get baptized and go back in your fake religion you came from. That's right. When you repent and be baptized, that means you consent to death. Oh, yes. What you mean, Pastor Jenna? You have consented to die to everything you're struggling with to die out from it. That's right. That's why Paul went to Rome mm -hmm. and told him in the sixth chapter of Romans, what shall we say then? Shall we continue shall in we sin, continue that, grace in sin that grace may abound? God, God forbid. forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin? How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer, longer, longer therein? No, you're not. No, you're not. That's that's so many so of us were baptized into Jesus Christ. Into Jesus Christ. We're baptized into his death. How are we baptized? Therefore, we are buried Sprinkle. with him. We are buried with him. If I got any ex-members here from Daddy Grace. You know, that's one false church, the house of prayer of all people. They used to take a fire hose and shoot it up in the air, and you all run under it. That's well, right. Well, when we ran up underwater, shoot up in the air, that's when we used to put the cap over the fire hydrant in the hood. That's right. And there was no swimming pools. So we put the thing over the fire hydrant in the hood, the water went in the air, and we, ah! To relieve some heat. You know more baptizing a duck can wear Nikes. Amen. 
Your whole body got to go down in water. Therefore, we are buried with him. We are buried with him. By baptism. By baptism. Into death. Into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. How should we come? Even so, we also should walk in newness of life. Peter said, repent, repent, I, repent. And if you notice in Revelation, at the end of each message, the Lord will bring the church. It will be repentance. Repentance. Godly sorrow Worketh repentance. repentance. Worketh repentance. Men are getting baptized, but you're not repenting. That's right. God wants you to be sorry about your wrong. That's it. Not to just run up and say, I want to get baptized. Pastor Jenner said you got to be baptized. Don't just look at that. No. You got to repent. Repent. First. That's it. First. That's right. Be sorry about being a sinner. First. That's right. I want to make a change first. That's it. Glory to God, I want to uh, get my life right with God. That's right. Stop living the way I'm living. Yeah. Stop hanging out on the corners and smoking and drinking and walking with my, hand, my pants down and just cussing every chance I get. That's right. Stop gang and carjacking. That's right. Amen. Stop running around with every boy in the neighborhood and every girl in your block. Yes. Stop being a That's shit. right. Take your dress and wig off and your, your manicure and nails and your fake eyelashes and get rid of your lipstick and put your pants back on, fella. That's right. Yeah, man. Put, get, take off your high heel pumps and put on your, uh, your Timberlands. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And march on in here. That's we right. take God ready to go down in the water. Amen. What did Peter say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Glory to God, repent. And be baptized every one of you. How much here in Washington? Every one of what you. What about around Washington? Every one of you. Every state? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of That's the Holy That's the new Ghost. birth. That's the way you're born again. That's right. When you, Jesus told Nicodemus, uh, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water. Oh, that's when you're baptized in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. When he said, except you're born of the Spirit, Spirit. that's when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Bap the Holy Ghost speaking in the tongue of the Spirit of God to give utterance. That's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Without it. Without it. Without the water and the spirit. That's right. You are never get into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. All right, Washington. Anybody tonight want to obey the word of God and not go to hell mm -hmm. and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, like the word of God says, stand on your feet if you want it tonight. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Wonderful. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. All of you that are standing, you brothers, everybody go over there. You that are standing, everybody go over there. All of you that are standing, you that is in the overflow room, if you're standing, you follow them that's coming in. All of you that want to get right. Hallelujah. You that want to get right, that's right. Let's go on and follow them. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the Lord's doing. Amen. I told you, folks, this is the Lord's doing. Everybody repent. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name. Hallelujah. 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 Of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you Ghost. shall receive the gift of the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the Lord's way. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how God builds this church. Hallelujah. One stone at a time. One stone at a time. Amen. God has made us a builder. Oh, yes. Amen. And by us laboring on Hallelujah. the building, I'm sticking to the instrument of straightness, which is the plumb line. That's it. 
That's the instrument of straightness. That's it. Amen. He put up, hallelujah, glory. He put up a wall. That's right. He said there's a plumb line in his hand. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. To all of Washington, amen, you listen out over the webcast, over the broadcast, times, dates, starting place, address, where all the souls Hallelujah. that we baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, you that receive or did not receive the Holy Ghost, and you that's coming out of your false churches by the thousands, Listen out for the address, date, time, name of place where the first Washington, D.C. service will be held, and I will be there. Amen. Amen. I'll be there for the first opening service for the first opening service of the Truth of God gathering, I'll be there. Wonderful. So I can welcome all of you. And introduce you to the brethren that'll be ministering unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Come out of your churches. All of you. Oh, yes. Get yourselves ready now. If you drifted off back to your false church, you only got a few minutes left to read your last hymn book. <laughs> That's right. Just a few more minutes left. That's right. Gather your last hymn book. Uh, you can leave your choir robe there, or you can bring it, and we can add it to the baptismal clothing. <laughs> Amen. Come on back tomorrow. Remember tonight that the clocks go forward. Yeah, man, you lose sleep. Well, you lose it anyway if you're troubled over this gospel. That's right. Yeah, man, but come on back tomorrow. Service prayer will begin at 11 o'clock. And let us remember, whenever we do a live webcast, it is automatically recorded on YouTube. So if you missed anything tonight or if we was going too fast for you, when you go back in your hotel or go back home, you can turn on YouTube and see the whole service over again. That's always. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Always. Beautiful. All right. Let us all stand. Elder James Wright will close us out in prayer. Now to him, he will be closing upon him, but then the Father was present, glory, and seeing the joy, glorified God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, power and dominion unto him now and forevermore. Let all these people say, Amen. 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 Amen.